Hey YouTube, how we doing? We have a very interesting book for you today by Mr. Dick Couch. As you can see by that title, it's Susponte, which basically means of their own accord. So stay tuned after we roll that intro, I'm going to tell you exactly about this book. YouTube, thanks so much for staying past that intro. Now, before we go too much further, for you first time viewers and you long time guys, man, look down below. You're going to see a little channel watermark popping up. Please make sure you hover over that thing and click subscribe. Get it out the way early. It's going to make you feel so much better about yourself for the rest of the day. Okay, so Mr. Couch wrote one hell of a book, basically about what it takes to make a boot an Army Ranger. Now, if you're unfamiliar with that term, a boot's basically a brand new private or people who have actually got, gotten to go to RASP, which is Ranger Assessment Selection Program. I'm sure they call it something else nowadays, but in my day, it was RASP. One of the beautiful things about Rangers, guys, if you're familiar with my channel and you're familiar with anything, you know my brothers over at Combat Flip Flops, and I'm going to leave a link down below to them. They're two Army Rangers who are helping change the world. They found their mission, and they're doing something incredible. He has so many people. Oh, by the way, the MSRP is like 27 bucks, but I got it a heck of a lot cheaper on Amazon. So I'll leave a link down below as well if I can still find one out there. All right. He has so many people just lauding him and saying what great stuff this is and what awesome it is. Well, it is. It's a great book. Basically, he gives you a history of the Rangers, <coughs> their founding in this country, and how they really started coming into their own in the Civil, not the Civil War, um, the Revolutionary War. The Rangers are the world's premier light infantry fighting unit. They go in, they kick ass, they get out, and they move forward. Now, one of their principles I don't really agree with, you know, about they're going to carry on the mission no matter what the cost. Well, if you're losing 90% of your fighting force, you're now no longer an effective fighting unit. One of the Ranger units basically was wiped out in World War II. I think it was on Point Du Hoc. Please don't exactly quote me on that, but Duhok sounds very, very vaguely familiar to me. That one unit was almost wiped completely off the map, so the survivors had to be folded into other units. It's a great read at about 300, we'll say 50 pages or so, and yet it does have photos in the middle. Alright. He is very... And what kills me is he's the first author ever, I mean ever, to be granted 100% access to every bit of the training cycle. And this is from when they very first show up for, you know, Ranger Selection, and they're like, you know, the all nervous, the all whatever, and they get that first initial right in the face of the sergeant coming out and, you know, the PT, the drills, you know, the obstacle courses, the road marches, the, you know, just breaching doors, everything they go through, he was there for. And he had unbridled access to be able to sit and interview people. And it's amazing to sit and think what these guys go through. Like immigrants who came here and were so happy to be part of the United States. You know, we're talking legal immigrants who came here. And they're like, I need to give back to this country who's given me so much. And they became rangers. You've got people who, you know, have been out for a while and had to, came back in. And they're like, I wanted to be the best of the best. He details all this, and it's just amazing to see what these guys go through. And I will tell you, ranger training is not easy. It's just, it's not. You know, you've got peer evaluations. You've got standards that you don't know exactly what's going on, and you've got to meet them without knowing what they are. You know, you can be dropped, basically, for any reason. If the cadre thinks you're dogging it, if you're not ranger material, if you're not there... You've even got opportunities to cycle back, you know, and start over again. You know, it's like, we know you've got to drive. Maybe you're not catching it. Let's get you back in another class. Maybe you'll grab it. You know, it's all voluntary. So it's not like these guys were drafted to be rangers or do something stupid. No, they, they raised their hand. They wanted this contract. They signed the assessment stuff. It's just, it, it, it's amazing. And... 
the only way I can put it. It's a no bullshit look. All right. If you really want to know what goes into selecting rangers, it's in here. And no, it's not a blueprint that any terrorist can pick up and go, oh, okay, here's a step-by-step, -step. Here, here's an instruction, here's this. No. This is a very honest look at what goes into making them. I wanted to keep this one kind of short because I want you to buy the book and I want you to read it. All right, I, I, I just do. These rangers are out there every night defeating terrorists, defeating the bad guys, and they're bringing freedom into the world. I've got good friends who are rangers, hence why I mentioned combat flip-flops. You really want to check these guys out. I have brought Leo Jenkins' books to my channel. Leo was a ranger medic. And speaking of that, look up top. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to be. All right, on one of those two sides. I'm going to leave a card with every single book I've reviewed so far. His books are in there. Go look at it. The founding of combat flip-flops are in there. Go look at that one. And these are rangers who are still carrying on the mission today and helping people. Now, with that being said, I want to know your thoughts. Were you a ranger? You know, have you read this book? Do you know anyone who is one? I'm talking the real one. I'm not talking about some moron sitting at the end of a bar going, oh, yeah, you know, my time. You can spot the fakes right away. You, you really, truly can. <clears throat> now, with that fun stuff being said, I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, all that, right down below. All right? Let's get a good discussion going. I love those when it happens with the books. Except the one for Omarosa's book, and that I just blocked all the comments because I can only be called a racist so much in my life. But anywho. Now, for you first-time viewers of the channel, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching this weird one. Okay? I know. Book reviews really aren't snazzy, drought, you know, right in your face, all this wonderful stuff. But this one had to come to my channel. All right? I regret the fact that I lost the one that he wrote on Special Forces because it was interesting. The class he followed was Tim Kennedy's class. If you don't know who he is, former UFC fighter, well, current Special Forces badass, and a star in the all-veteran produced movie Range 15. So go check that out. All right? Now, for you first-time viewers of the channel and you long-time viewers of the channel, man, look down below. All right, give me one of those two corners. Big old channel logo going to be popping up. Click on that thing. Here's our second chance at redemption. Going to bring you right to subscribe. After you smash subscribe, please go ahead and destroy that bell icon. Why? Good question. It's going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, two are going to be popping up on the screen. Either on that side or that side. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. Sue Sponte by Dick Couch. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an incredible day today.